All right, so hello. You may notice a few changes. So number one, I made a new fence uh, with the wood that we have. I made a little fence because uh, our property line is actually here. So hopefully the neighbor didn't get too mad at me. Uh, honestly, the property lines aren't very clear around here. I talked to him. He said it was okay. It's only like three trees. Um, I, I just to be nice, I gave him like a thousand dollars for like the three or four trees we used. Um, and then after that, I installed this fence between our two properties to get it a little more clear. He wasn't that mad, luckily, um, with the wood there, and the, that wood was also sold. So we have 40,000 now. So the grass is not uh, high enough to be cut at the moment still, so that's kind of unfortunate. Um, but we're going to make a field, I think, here. This is probably a pretty good area. We might cut down these trees as well today to make a little bit bigger of a field. Uh, and I don't think we had a cultivator, so we might need to buy that, but luckily we got some money. Not a cultivator, we might, we're probably going to buy a disc. Um... We'll see, though. A disc or something. Yeah, because I don't think we have a cultivator. So it's unfortunate the grass isn't high enough to be cut. Uh, I think one more month and then it would be cuttable, but... Yeah. It's unfortunate. Uh, because of this fence, we're probably going to have to do a headland, but... Like, we're going to have to do headlands whenever we plow this field and stuff. But I think we'll keep, like, maybe to, like, right here kind of distance. Um... So I think number one, we're going to go ahead and maybe move some trees. Maybe we'll do that later, depending on if, if we think this field is too small. Uh, so... I'm going to maybe head in my pickup truck when I head to town, and... We'll go pick up a disc, because that's going to be priority. And also probably some seed bags. Alright, so we made it. This is a farm, uh, I think it's owned by... Was it? M Matt? I think Matt, yeah. So, uh, they're selling this disc here. This might be fun to get out of the gate. <laughs> they said we could drive on the field, and they said it was like 10,000 or something. Uh, yeah, the field doesn't really have anything in it. Uh, well, it does, but it's not grown yet, so it's not a big deal. So we need to get this, uh, and we're gonna connect this up. This thing is very heavy. Uh, we can't attach wires or anything. But we're trying to get it back to the property. So we're going to pay 10 grand to Matt and uh, we'll be on our way. Alright, so there we go. $10,000 later. We now have this pretty old, but uh, it's a pretty decent size. It's like a 10 foot disc. So we're going to have to keep that tractor. Uh, we're going to probably cut some more logs and then we're going to buy that 4240 that uh, Isaac has. And then we'll return the Massey. So I think for today at least, we'll use the Massey with this case disc uh and then to be careful to get out the gate here this does not fit on the road really so we'll just get off to the side and this should be good enough well there's nobody on this road right now so we'll just sit in the middle all right so we made it back we're gonna get connected up to the massey ferguson and then we'll probably head back to cutting some trees soon but i want to get to work on the field we might expand the field later today we'll see and i actually didn't get seed so that's kind of dumb of me but it is what it is. Anyways, there's probably way too much weight on that car already. It's an F-150. I don't think it's exactly meant for transporting this kind of a disc. Alright, so we'll get that hooked up. Got the wires. And then this is a pretty big disc. Yeah, it's like 10 feet. Jeez. I don't know, not 10 feet, this is 10 meters. This is like 30 feet almost. Or it is 30 feet, I don't know. That should be decent distance there, I think. We'll go like here and then we'll start the field. That seems pretty good. Uh, and then we'll probably... Are we gonna square off the field? Mm, nah. All right, so go right just before the hill starts. Um, and then we'll continue kind of following this tree line. And then I think we'll go all the way down to the end here. And then if we're going to expand, it's going to be up that hill probably to the road. But right now, without expansion, I'll also have to clear that tree that fell already. Uh, we're going to go, just probably go to the right and we'll just hug the road here. But like I said, we're probably going to end up expanding because I just got lazy and I didn't want to cut so many trees. So we'll go here and then I think we'll square off. 
Okay. Lift it, and then we'll go around. Alrighty, so there we go. We just finished with that first area here. Um, I think we're gonna go to cutting some trees now. We're gonna probably go... Just to get an idea, we're gonna go all the way up to, like... Hmm, where does our property line end? We, we've got forever for our property line on this side. Uh, so we might just go all the way, like... These trees clear these, and then we go, maybe we'll stop here and we'll make another field. This is a kind of weird mountain. So we'll probably get all these guys here. And then the other thing that we could do is we could like, that's too steep right there, but there's still really, really flat land up here. We could go around that. And then we could just make another area of this field up here, which could be very interesting to harvest. So I think we're gonna do that actually. Uh, so we'll hook back up to the Massey. Uh, and I still don't know what we should do for transferring logs. If we're just gonna hire somebody to do it again. Or we're gonna do it ourselves. But we'll, we'll have to figure that out. This is just so many trees. I don't want to cut these. Hmm. I don't know what we're gonna do. Alright, so we're gonna get to work cutting these. Uh, and then I think I'll have a buddy gonna come over here. And he might help me. Uh, he's just gonna at least be clearing the trees. He's gonna, like, delim de them and clear them, and then he'll sell them. He just wants, because he's gonna be doing, like, more than half the work. He's gonna be, the, he just wants half profit. So, we're just gonna cut him, and then he, we sh should have these all cut by the time he's here, and then, uh, he'll go ahead and bring these down to sell. And he's gonna become a neat, neat pile. And during that time, we're gonna maybe do a, either a contract. Yeah, we'll probably do a contract just to make some extra money. Uh, maybe... I don't think anything's being harvested right now. Nothing's being harvested right now, it looks like, unfortunately. So we won't be able to do a harvesting contract. Alright, so this is the last tree here. Probably looks really, really odd. But my plan is, is that this is gonna go wrapping around up there. Uh, this is a lot of trees that we just cut down. So this is like, I think, 40 or more trees that I cut. Maybe, yeah, probably like 50 almost, 40-ish. Um, maybe 30? I don't know. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and have my friend come over here, and then he's gonna get all of these. He's gonna delim them, and then bring them down to the sawmill. And that time, all he says he wants to, uh, I put the keys in the Massey because he says he wants the Massey to be able to, like, drag stuff. So I wanna go see if I can get anything done for Isaac. And then also, I might look into buying a house, because I cannot deal with this anymore. Alright, so we uh, sold all the trees, uh, and I'm heading down to go get some seed now. That was $40,000. I didn't manage to find any contracts. And man, do they need to clear these trees on this path. This is insane, honestly. Like, every time I go down this path, there's like four trees in the way. It's crazy. So, we're gonna go ahead and head down to the city. We need to buy fertilizer and stuff. So, I was helping... Uh, my buddy do the trees trimming. Uh, so we got 40 grand from that. All right, so we made it. I opened the truck bed. Uh, they brought everything out that I wanted. So we're gonna have to go ahead and get everything loaded in ourselves. Um, so we'll just go ahead and uh, get this all loaded up. I have operated a forklift before. It's just been a while. All right, now we shall push this into my truck and this truck is heavily weighed down. Alrighty, so I cannot see out the back. So now, I think... We also gotta pay. Man. Uh, and then now... Um... I think that's gonna be what we do. From we're all down here. I don't think there's anything else we need to do. We'll have to see. And also, to get these seed bags into the thing, that might be a problem. But right now, that's not a problem we have to deal with. Because right now, we're going to have to use the Massey. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, get to work plowing. Or disking, actually. Alright, so we're going to get to work uh, disking here. I think we're going to start right here, and then we're going to go...
All right, so this is the last part of our field. Just a little thing that I missed up here. And then after that, I think we're done. Uh, this is actually a really interesting field. I'm pretty happy how this turned out. Uh, so I don't think there's anything else uh, I can add on to this. This is pretty much as big as it's going to get. Uh, at least for this area. I think this is going to be an oat field. And then hopefully the grass will have grown in tomorrow. Because if it isn't, uh, I'm not going to be happy. Well, we might actually have to wait another day. Because right now it's just before the stage that is cuttable. And you can get an even nicer cut if we wait a little longer. So now we got to seed this. Uh, but first, I'm going to have to call, us, call someone to do soil sampling. Um, so we're going to have to wait a little bit. Uh, we're going to have to do the express day thing. Um, because we need this done. We might be planting late into the night. It might be 9 o'clock when we plant, but we'll see. Alright, well, I'll see you guys in a few hours. But actually, in the meantime, we might go return the Massey. Uh, and we're going to get uh, the John Deere. And then we'll prep all the John Deere stuff. So, we'll go do that, actually. Alright, so I made it down. I gave Isaac back the keys, and he gave me this. So I managed to talk him down a little bit, because it's got a decent amount of hours. So, this is going to be bought for... I think we concluded on 29500 So, we're going to pay... And then the other thing is that we got to get lime, which I completely forgot about. So, Isaac's willing to lend us one of his lime spreaders. Which is the same one that we used... Uh, the contract, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. The only thing is this thing's got a front weight, so I don't know what we're gonna do about that. Uh, we might just come back for that, or we'll figure out something. You might be able to put the weight into, like, the back, or we can carry it on the forks. Alright, so we managed to make something work. We want the front, the, the weight on the front. This is probably not gonna be a good idea. Uh, and we have to pull out of the highway, and this not a good time. Alright, so now we're on the highway. This might be a struggle to get up the hill. Hopefully we'll make it. <laughs> Luckily we're not going to be on the highway for very long. We'll have to return this later. He basically gave us this for free. He just made us pay for the lime that was in it. Um, so, yeah. Well, this shouldn't take long at all. This is a huge lime spreader. Or, well, technically it is a manure spreader, but you can put lime in it, so that's cool. And then, hopefully the soil sampling people will be here soon. Alrighty, well, welcome back. It is a while later now. The soil samplers just got finished, so we have our soil data now. Uh, so we're going to get to work on this field. From what I remember, this thing's width is uh, very, very sufficient, so we're going to back up. I think it was around here that should be good. So we'll go ahead and get this unfolded, and then we'll get to work. Why the hell? And then, uh, don't ask me why it looks like there's manure at the back. Uh, probably some kind of bug. But, that's weird. <laughs> So we pretty much got everything, just a little, little spot up here that I'm going to touch up. Uh, and then I think we're going to be done with this. Uh, we're going to plant the oats. Uh, and we'll have to return this probably tomorrow. I don't want to drive down this road up tonight. It's very spooky in the forest late at night. Um, we got a good amount of time before midnight, and that's my only goal is to be done before midnight, and I think we'll be fine. 
Uh, we're gonna get out some other things to get some more light on this area. This tractor just isn't enough. Uh, and then... We'll go ahead, yeah, we'll hook up to the cedar now. And then we'll find a way to un well, load up the... The stuff. Alright, so, yeah, we'll go fill up the stuff now. This thing actually does have forks, so it sh actually might work. Alright, so I set up the uh, bobcat there, and then I have a 4020 over there in my pickup truck. I was gonna get the combine, but I think that's a good enough amount of lights. Uh, so, that should be fine. Uh, so, I don't know. We're planting oats. All right, so we finished. It's almost 10 o'clock. It's like 9.30. Uh, so we had a late night. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put everything away. Uh, and then I'll probably bring down the fertilizer spreader tomorrow, but we'll figure it out. Uh, and we have to clean up all the stuff that we put around on the field and stuff. But number one, we're gonna back this into our shed. But man, these property lines around here are really weird. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and sleep. Uh, we still don't have anything, so. Another night in the car.